Hello, welcome back. DJ Vic Vapor with you. Bitwig Studio 2. In this tutorial, we're taking a look at the note velocity MIDI effect. So this allows you to control the velocity of the incoming MIDI notes and create some really unique random or really unique curves to the sound that's coming in. And one of the ways that I wanted to display this was with the sampler. So I'm not sure if you're aware, hopefully you are, but when you're into multi-sampling, um, what you do here is you have, like each set of keys has one, two, three, four in this particular uh, preset, four different individual samples. All these are different samples and they're activated by the velocity that they're designated when they're when they're brought in. So let's, t I'll double click like this one right here, the velocity is between one and 39. And if you go above that one, it's between 40 and 69 to activate that one. So in other words, how hard is the key struck to activate this particular sample? And then above that, it's 70 to 109. And you can see all these have different varying velocity designations to activate them. So if you ever build something within the sampler yourself and you want to put multiple samples in like this, you always want to designate specific velocity settings to allow you some really good rich rich uh, textures and potentially some really cool glitchy effects. So let's close that. That's just a quick look at how the sampler is set up so that you understand what we're dealing with here. And I've got this MIDI bass pattern here. And if you watch how this thing, if you watch how it plays, all the notes are going to be activated on the same velocity plane right here. So essentially we're hearing, you know, kind of the same note. The only thing that went up there was the pitch because it's key track to go up because the note went up. But we're still in that same pitch. We're not going up and down and all over the grid here. And note velocity is a great way to do that. Prior to note velocity, one of the ways to move around the grid would be to um, go in here and just go to the velocity. And you know you can move your chaos and, and change the velocity around. That would allow you, essentially, when you are working within Sampler, to have a way to move, you know, within the um, different samples. But now with note velocity, you get a little bit better um, movement. And I'll show you right away, kind of. So again, those are playing all on one plane. Let's activate note velocity. See, now we're starting to get some of the lower stuff and move more movement. But as I dial in, what we've got over here is a low, a low velocity setting. We've got a middle and a high, low, mid, and high. And then you can go left and right with this guy, your X1. And you've got a random, and it can, you know, generate different random velocities within however you set your curve. So I'll play around with those and you can kind of see the movement changing here on the grid because we're going to be structuring essentially different uh, velocities. So hopefully that gives you uh, some creative ideas when you're working with the uh, note velocity. This is just one way of many that you can man manipulate and use it. And also we've got our modulators that we can start to uh, go in here and have a lot of fun with uh, within note velocity. So working with it in sampler, I think, is one of the more powerful ways I've come across uh, creating some really unique presets for myself. So let's move on to the next tutorial.